55, you're watching CT Style. We are talking about a very important wedding accoutrement today. Chargers and, Chargers. and plates too, I guess. <laughs> Our friend Lisa Antonekia from Creative Concepts by Lisa is back in the house. Hi, we Lisa. Love you, Lisa. It's good to see you guys. So I love bringing things that get Teresa excited. Are a so we're deal. two for two. The last two <laughs> segments, you've been really excited, so I love it. So, so immediately, your question was why? Well, I, did, yeah. I had no idea or this what was a thing. Are what are chargers? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I was okay, like, huh? Okay, so the charger plates, which are what you see here, um, are really coming out in new shapes and sizes this year, which would mean nothing to you if you didn't even know what they were to begin with. Right. So what do they know. do? When you show up to a um, more high-end affair, shall we say, it's not unusual to have a charger plate on your table. So when your guest comes in, it would be on the table, and then say when their salad were to come out, the caterer would place the salad on the oh, charger plate. Okay. The plate typically stays there through the entree, gets taken away, and then when the wedding cake or dessert comes out, the mm -hmm. plate magically has disappeared. And it really is a more decorative <laughs> element. You're not going to eat off it. Right. You're right. not okay, eating okay, off it. Unless, unless you're that guy that decides it's a giant bread plate. Uh, and that they happens. do that, and they do do that. So, so there you go. But you can also see, aside from these that are glass, these two in the center, we have these really fantastic ones. Now, everything here was sent to me from BBJ Linen, so I want to thank them for providing this stuff because it's all like the latest and greatest. Yeah. Um, but these charger plates, the one in front of uh, Ryan as well, these are metal and they're flat as a pancake and that's just a really new and unique style and they are literally, they're, they're renting out incredibly fast. So wow. the couples are really getting involved in that idea. I think what's nice about them is there's a little bit of a masculine quality to them as well, so the grooms <laughs> might be able to get behind it. Charger for yeah. you. Charger, yeah. for, charger for you. This is so, my charger. So then you also see all of these amazingly detailed linens on the table. And they're very bright. I mean, They are very bright, and they have a lot of pattern, obviously. Now, I was just saying to you off camera, this may be too much for you to do on every single table at your wedding, mm -hmm. but perhaps on your cocktail hour tables or your sweetheart table or cake table, you might do them as an accent, or you might just embrace it and go for it all around. But what's really nice today is color palettes are really brightening up. We don't have to worry about just doing blush and white anymore sure. at a wedding and really embracing your style, which this is a great variety of styles. Everything from something more traditional, which I would think on the end mm -hmm. is like a, what would be a damask and a new twist, and then going obviously way outside the box, again, right in front of Ryan with the purples and oranges. Fancy. I love it, right? It's That's groovy, what baby. How, That's what you <laughs> Is wedding season winding down? Or? So typically in Connecticut, wedding season goes all the way through October. Mm -hmm. September and October are the peak wedding months now. Oh. As a matter of fact, September, if you want a tent, if you want a any type of rental and you don't have it, you ain't getting it. Oh boy. So now if it's, it's too late at this point. Plan for October 2019. the same. Yeah. October is incredibly busy. And then we all kind of come to more of a pump the brakes time. Sure. And we slow down a little bit, which is what I call my winter's nap. <laughs> and, um, but you're already planning for next year. Yeah. You know, so it, it slows down, but that just means no late Saturday nights. Got there it. Go. Which is good for you. <laughs> good right? for me. Yeah. I will take, take a that breather. now. A hibernation. It's true. For, for Lisa. So, and you guys, you've been to a lot of weddings this year. Yeah. We have. We both have. Rating. I'm going to one this weekend. I'm I, driving, or no, two weeks. I'm driving 12 hours to, to get you there. You are a loyal wedding and, guest. And like, he goes ago, everywhere. He went to two in one <laughs> weekend in different rough. states. The struggle is real. They should pay us to go. Well, I think, when you're, at this when point, you're that popular, no. just people kidding. You do want, want this guy at your party, oh, you let's be yeah. honest, uh, right? Well. <laughs> You've been all over the place, too. So. What can we say? Lisa, this is fun. Thank you for bringing the new chargers in. I yes. know what to look for. We're keeping them. You know, make sure you guys check it out online, too. Lisa Antonecki, Creative Concepts by Lisa. Home. I'm taking the masculine oh my ones. Gosh. Well, I like fun. this one the best anyway, so that worked out really well. Good.